I'm Thomas, and I'm a sex researcher. This is part two of the episode on how to make going through a breakup easier. If you haven't seen part one, click that card right above my head there and watch that one. Then come back. Okay, let's jump back in with number four. Number four, take care of yourself. Many of my clients just stop taking care of themselves when their relationships end. Yeah, it might be nice to lie in bed for some extra time, eat comfort food, and watch a lot of TV, but don't overdo it. Self-care is extremely important, but also having a bit of tough love with yourself can be self-care. Give yourself a week to feel sad, and then take the horse by the reins. Engage in activities you love. That's a great way to remind yourself that the world is huge and there are tons of things to do. Take risks and do things maybe you've been afraid of or nervous about. This isn't about distracting yourself as much as making sure you're out there living life. Treat your body right, which might mean eating healthier, working out, going for hikes. Exercise is a great way to release endorphins and a great way to meet new people. Another way you can take care of yourself is by taking care of others. Volunteer somewhere if you have time. Anything to get your attention off yourself and provide for others. Doing things for others will allow you to get out of your head and stop wallowing in your own grief. Number five, fall in love again with yourself. A lot of times in relationships, we lose track of who we were before we got into the relationship and we can lose touch with ourselves. So it's time to get to know that person again. Take yourself on a date. Yeah. A real date. Pick a time and stick to it. Get dressed up like you would for a date. Take yourself somewhere you'd want to go. Someplace you'd take a fun date, then go. Stay off your phone. Surely you wouldn't be texting on a date, right? Have a conversation with yourself. Hold the door for yourself and give yourself compliments. It's time that you appreciate yourself and say thank you for doing kind things for yourself. I'm aware this sounds hokey, but once you do it a few times, it's really great. And besides, if you can't go on a date and enjoy yourself, how can you expect someone else to go on a date with you and enjoy you? We send the world messages about what the acceptable ways are to treat us by how we treat ourselves. So make sure the world knows that you're an amazing person who is worthy of love by giving yourself love. If you're dealing with a breakup, give some of these things a try. Or if you're not dealing with a breakup but might be in the future, remember this video and then give some of these things a try. So let's do a quick recap. Number one, stop telling yourself you'll never be happy again. Number two, talk to your friends, but don't make them hate you. Number three, cut off your ex. Number four, take care of yourself. And number five, fall in love again, but with yourself. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. I've got a lot of content in production and I don't want you to miss out. So go ahead and click that subscribe button. And in the meantime, check out one of these other videos. And don't forget to send me your questions about sex to thomastalksabout at gmail.com.